everyone, Angela Allen from The Handmade Homestead. I have to admit, I caved. <laughs> I restarted my sourdough starter. Now my last one I had had going for probably 10 years and I did a video not too long ago about giving you permission to not do sourdough, that it was okay if you just make yeast bread and you don't have to do sourdough. And the truth is my family's not really big on the flavor or the texture of sourdough bread. That's the truth. However, we love sourdough crackers and I love to make sourdough waffles and sourdough pancakes. And I haven't been able to do either one of those since I got rid of my sourdough starter a month or two ago. So I've restarted it. I just started it three days ago. And as you'll see in this video, it's, a, it's already really bubbly. I just fed this one, so it's not really bubbly. This is three day old starter. Started three days ago. I only start just tablespoon of water, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of flour, something like that. A very small amount. I, you know, I don't measure. So, so I just start that small amount. I add flour and water to it daily for a few days. But today, again, this morning is only our third day. It's not overly warm here. It's been around 70, 68 in the house, but it was very active and very bubbly this morning already. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but that's fine. I don't plan to use it for a little bit yet, but I did just do a feed and I did put it back in its big bottle because I usually keep quite a bit of sourdough starter. And like I said, I do use it for pizza crust. I use it for crackers, our absolute favorite thing, and then waffles and pancakes. And I found in the meantime, since I got rid of my starter, our waffles, our pancakes, they're really just not as good. So. Here we go again. And I'm good for that. I can always just store it in the fridge when I'm not using it, take it out when I want to. I still don't have to make bread with it, but if I want to, I can. So yeah, okay. <laughs> I'd love to hear your comments. Did you keep your sourdough starter going? Have you started a new batch? Did you find if you used to do it and don't now, do you find that you missed doing sourdough? I'd really like to hear your comments about that down below. And I will see you in a few days for the next video. Take care.